there are many nighttime objects that you can see with binoculars or even with the naked eye. Each season has its cast of characters and interesting sights to see. There are many possibilities, planets, constellations, and star clusters. There are open star clusters that are perhaps made up of 50 or 100 stars. They look very nice in small telescopes and binoculars, of course. And then there are globular clusters made up of 100,000 stars in a tight, compact formation. There are nebulae. There are various types of nebulae. Nebulae that are lit up by nearby stars and others that glow with an electronic type of emission. Then there are galaxies. We've all experienced some of the pictures from the Hubble and there are many, many, many different types of galaxies out there. And one of the most pretty objects that we see are things called planetary nebulae. There are things like the Eskimo Nebula, there are the uh, Ring Nebula, and so on. These are remnants of exploding stars and appear very nicely in binoculars and telescopes. There are some seasonal popular deep sky objects that include the Pleiades, M45, the Beehive Cluster, the Great Globular Cluster in Hercules, also known as M13, the Andromeda Galaxy, M31, Bode's Galaxy, and the Cigar Galaxy, M81 and M82. The Orion Nebula, M42, the Trifid Nebula, M20, the Lagoon Nebula, and there are many others. The constellations Scorpius and Sagittarius are full of nebulae and globular clusters since they are in the thickest part of the Milky Way. There are also unexpected night events such as comets, meteors, and aurora. Even traversing satellites are fun to watch as well. Iridium flares that happen when sunlight hits antennae of special communications satellites in orbit. Heavens Above is a great free website that tells you when satellites are available. Visible objects are only limited by the darkness of the sky and your time. It's also helpful if you have a local planetarium to check it out and visit the nighttime sky.